Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Now, as you can see in the title, yeah, definitely. So I saw a video with Auntie Donna the other day and let me tell you something and like, it moved me differently. Like I felt so good within myself. And the reason as to why I felt so good within myself is not because of the, the just the words, but rather you could feel the, the genuineness coming from these words. Now, I won't leave you guys blindsided. I'll be sure to put the video just one minute from now, approximately, right? So that you guys can also, you know, know which video I'm talking about. So I'll be sure to include the video in just a few seconds. So yes, guys, I'm telling you, man, it's like, um, you know, knowing that someone gave such a big handout, you know, like a big help to like place their trust in me, to put me in a place where I could have basically done anything that I wanted. You know, I never had to be on YouTube, I could just, you know, went off and, you know, disappear, but rather, you know, I'll be sure to stick around with you guys and show you guys the journey step by step, you know, and tell you guys ups and downs and, you know, for Antonina as well, you know, one of the major persons in this journey, to have been able to like, you know, capture the journey and also feel good within yourself. That makes me, you know, can't tell you, man, I can't even express the feeling, but it's, 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 it's a very good feeling to keep a burning spirit to make, you know, more excitement. You know, we all love some nice excitement, you know, excitement, good excitement, positive excitement, you know, we love excitement like that. So definitely guys, you know, um, I felt really good. Yeah, I'm gonna have you guys uh, see the clip as well. And definitely big up to Auntie Lee. So let's go ahead to play the clip right now. Six o'clock in the morning in England. Oh wow. Oh, I want to say a big congratulations to Urian. Oh God, Urian been calling me and so I want him to call me me to sleep or me a beak. I didn't get to catch up with him for him to tell me what happened. But I see him send me the him presentation in the phone. Oh my God, I feel like a proud mother. I am so proud of these people that I have helped and I am see them at Excel. May I have God to cover him from the crown of him, head to the sole of him feet. In their England, you know, Canada, and him own. You know, and him could have made stupid decisions. And he did not. You understand? So, God is good. Him all up him head and I'm so proud of him. When I look at him, I say, oh my God, look how we plant a son. We know that every planker person is supposed to be happy to see the level of excellence that he's producing. You know, him just I excel and I go on and I go on and I go on and I am so proud of you, Ian. Mighty God of Daniel. I'm proud of all of them, you know, but Urian struck a core. Hi, Patterson, New Jersey. Thank you, Jesus, you know. I am so happy. All right, guys. So, yeah, there you have it. You know, it was amazing. Um, even the little prayer right there. Uh, Auntie, just speak of yourself, you know. I'm definitely glad that I was able to make you happy, you know, and will certainly continue to do so as we move through this journey. You know, as I said, it's a lot, lots more to come, lots more to do quite a n number of months to go probably years as well so you know let's just take it a day at a time but yeah you know um definitely have to big up auntie for that you know big big time you know some persons you know they would probably just help and then you know when you're gone they don't even remember because they have other things doing but you know auntie irrespective of her busy cake sale right you know she's still remembering you know, respective, as I said, I would just send a few things and I understand, you know, come on, look at me. When I have my exams, I am so busy, I don't even get to speak to family. So everyone gets busy that time. But it's what you do after you're, you know, the busy time is over, right? You know, you reach out back to people, you know, you let them know that, hey, you're still here, you're still around, you know, you're still checking up for them. It's just like you're in your busy time, you know, same thing on you know, definitely understand because. I myself as a first and experience with being busy and not able to like speak to loved ones. So yeah, I understand that auntie, you know, so as soon as I finish with it and I put out the cake thing as well, you know, very good initiative, right? Very good way to, you know, build your brand even much larger, you know, very good way to expand and maybe one day, 
widows and she would have her own bakery understand so rather than just having baking done at a specific season it will be all year round you know have her own brand you know in in supermarkets being displayed all over not only locally but internationally you understand so i mean yeah you know it's a very good site and as long as someone is working to improve their self then i think that it's 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 like a good way to be busy and that's what auntie is doing you know working to improve herself to improve her brand you know and yeah i mean you'll find persons out there as well that will criticize your brand that's just a part of life that's a part of business you know when you're a business person not everyone i'm not even even when you're a business person but you're just normal human life if everyone likes you like if everyone likes you then something is wrong like you need to check yourself to be honest if everyone likes you, you need to check yourself. There has to be one person that just doesn't can't take your spirit for whatever reason. You know, so if everyone likes you, something is wrong. You know, so it's normal for like persons to have diverse opinions, diverse agreements. You understand? Because we're not all the same. So, you know, a few, as I said, a few persons might criticize the cake. A, few, a, a lot of you might love the cake. And then you have this few in the middle that might criticize just because, you know, they have nothing else, they have nothing positive within them. So, you know, it's just like that, it's just a business. But as long as Auntie stay true to herself, keep doing her thing and, you know, keep expanding her brand, keep remaining positive, then that's great. And you know, something I saw the other day, guys, which was very notable. And it's notable because of how they are in the same niche, the same market, but at the same time, they still motivate each other. So I was, I don't remember what I was doing, but, you know, sometimes when I'm, when I'm boring, like or not when i'm bored but like when i want like when i'm just resting you know not doing anything it's like you will see until the video because you know you're running through youtube you might see until the live pop up you just click on it and when you click on it it's like until your talk and it's like it just it just see yourself draw into one here more <laughs> understand and then i think at the point where i remember is where until the was i think she was on a call with someone and I was saying uh, to tell them uh, where your cake uh, is, their cake, uh, tell them some about the cake, right? It's like they are baking cake, like that person was baking cake, right? And Auntie Nuna was saying to tell them your address or, you know, tell them how they can reach to you, something like that. You understand? And, you know, Auntie Nuna was saying to go over her to support her cakes. And I was saying, wow, look at that. You know, Auntie Nuna, who also sells cake is supporting someone else who sells cake just like her i mean she could have auntie auntie could have said guys when you go buy my cake then don't buy you know her cake you understand but rather you know i think auntie mentioned that hey buy her cake first you know if anything you can buy hers afterwards i was like wow yeah you know it's a very good site you know helping to build each other up irrespective of the fact that you know you're in the same market you understand because i mean you know, as we Jamaicans would say, food there for everybody. You know, food there for eat for everybody. Now, to those who don't understand that term, when we say food there for eat for everybody, means that money is here for everyone to make. In, in, you know, for you guys to understand, it means that money is here for everyone to make. So it's not just, you know, one person should be making money. Everybody should be making money. You understand? I was like, yeah, that's how it should be done. You know, that's how it should be. Everyone should be able to cover Maslow's basic psychological needs, you know, and uh, yeah, that's I believe that's how life should be. So when I saw it, it was very inspiring, you know, uplifting each other, etc. That was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. So yeah, big up to yourself once more again, Auntie. Definitely, I was just say big up to Auntie Down Below, you know, definitely because let me tell you something. It's just that genuineness you know some persons would give you congratulations but when they might get congratulations it's like you have a question because you just feel as if you know them don't want to tell you congratulations but they know that if they don't tell you it's gonna look away on their end you know so they like you know kind of fake it you know fake the congratulations just to like you know ease their conscience understand but you know you have a next set of people who genuinely proud of you understand some people were prayerful better come even though you're doing good people that pray for better right 
people where you can hear the excitement in their voice for you. You understand? People where you can, you know, just feel it and you know, feel that genuinity. You know, understand, guys? So, yeah. You know, it was amazing hearing it. It was amazing. And not only from Antena, you know, not only from Antena, but even from you guys as well. You know, welcome my, my Facebook comments. I'm like, wow. You can feel that you guys are, you know, proud. You understand? You can really, really feel that. Really, I mean, really, 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 really feel that. And I told you guys, my page over here is going to be just for positivity. You understand? Like, we're just spreading positive throughout. You know, I said this back in August, you know, that this page is not for negative things. You know, if you want to hear positive things, if you want to see or witness positive, positive things, then this is the page to be because that's all that will be going on in this page. You understand? So, yeah, so far it's going really amazing. You know, really, really amazing. I can't wait for exams to over. You know, the next thing I want you guys to like uh, give me your suggestions on is um for christmas i want to get onto something for christmas definitely right i haven't been thinking about much as to what i'm going to get because uh, there's so much else that is on my mind right now in terms of like you know just getting over these final exams so as soon as i get over these final exams i'm going to be free to think about other things that i want to you know get done right so um yeah I'm thinking about getting her something, I'm not sure, but your suggestions would be really, really great. And what do you guys think would be an amazing gift to get on together? I'm not sure as yet. I'm also not sure how to get it from Canada to Jamaica. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure if I go by the post office to have them ship it off. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it would be better to like send the money back home and have grandma do the shopping for me, you know? I'm not sure which one would be the most efficient way, but I'm going to look into it because I haven't looked into it as deep as yet. These are just like rough thoughts. You know, this is just a brainstorming right now. So I'm going to look into it and, uh, you know, as soon as exam's over, because I, I finished exam on the 18th, so I have the entire day on the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, 24th. All right, so I have like seven, one week to find something and have it wrapped up and everything. But still, I need, if you guys can help me out in that part in terms of like telling me what you think would be a great gift, that would be amazing. And yeah, let me know what you guys would suggest because I want to get a gift on it. Definitely, man. Something nice. Something that, you know, that will be, I don't know how to describe it, but something that will be unique. You know, something that would be different. Something that would be so like once you see it, all you do is just smile. You know, you don't you don't even have to be anything expensive, but just as you see it, you know, a special gift like that, you just smile. You understand? You just smile. Yeah. You just smile. You know? Like you feel good getting that gift. So that like, that's what I'm thinking about. Which I'm I'm gonna hopefully I can come up to a very uh great solution in finding something like that. So hopefully I get to do that. But yeah, I know I will find something. So, you know, Christmas season and then New Year's 2024. Wow. Another year. Another year. Wow, 2023 is over. Guys, did you remember when 2023 just started? Uh, let me tell you what I was doing when 2023 just started. All right, January 1st, uh, New Year's, of course. You know, everyone was off of work. I was waiting for my visa application, actually. Yeah, I was waiting on a decision to make on my visa. And then uh, in the month of January, sorry, in the month of January was one of the worst months of 2023. You know, it was one of the worst months of 2023, right? Definitely month of January. I think one of the best months of 2023 was May 8th. Yeah, May 8th to be exact. May 8th was one of the best months of 2023. That's my highlight for 2023. Unless, of course, December, I don't know how... To... No, man, 2023, May 8th of 2023, don't take it. May 8th, the odd, because, you know, on May 8th, let me tell you guys what happened on May 8th. So on May 8th, you know, that's when I went into the first day of university, you know, first day of classes. 
and you know that's gonna actually start the journey you get me i think the second best day of um 2023 was april 18 you understand and april 18 was when my visa got approved so you know that's the second best day of 2023 but the worst one is definitely on january you know and i wouldn't even say it's probably not it's probably not the worst but rather i mean you might never know if it's actually the best and I'm, I'm just looking at it from a bad standpoint because i mean imagine if my visa got approved right i would have to come here and i'd be a struggle to like you know have to pay out so much intuition fees right so maybe it was actually a blessing for you know maybe i was actually probably the best month that i just think of it as you know not the best but it was possibly the best one because if not then i would definitely have to come here and i'll be so much a struggle i don't know how i'll do it i only even have youtube you know and none of my tuition would be paid and it would have been oh wow that would have been catastrophic well you know definitely have to give thanks you know certainly and uh, yeah you know, just just give thanks for the, for the year give thanks for life you know so there's no worse or best as long as we had life going and that's the best thing right you know give thanks for life all praises to god and let's wish to see many many more from me and all of you guys watching right now so guys i think that's it for me for today right i'm gonna get started on work you know, you all you guys know me it's work every day until the 18th so I'm going to get started on work right now and uh, I will see you guys when I see you guys. I'm not going to see you guys for next week. I'm not going to see you guys next week. Uh, no, not, not next week, guys. So this is officially goodbye until December 18. Wow. Yeah, because look, let me tell you why I can't see you guys. None at all. All right. Let me tell you why. So it's Monday. All right, Monday, I, um, I'm gonna have to study a lot Monday. Yesterday, I studied from, I studied yesterday from three, from 3.15 and I finished at 1.30 a.m. in the morning. So, and then I had to woke up back at 10 o'clock this morning. You know, I got some length in front of sleep, so that's, that's great, you know. So, um, yeah, today I'm gonna study from about 2.30 and I should finish by 12, you know, tomorrow, uh, 12 a.m. tomorrow. I should finish. I'm going to study around 2.30 right now to 12 a.m. tomorrow. And then I go to my bed at about 12.30. I get it back Monday. Well, obviously, it's going to argue be Monday. So when I get it back in the morning on Monday, I'm going to pr pretty much be doing the same thing throughout the day. Tuesday, now I have a class. So I don't have to attend classes, study here and there. And then Wednesday, straight through studying throughout the day and then Thursday. Thursday I have two exams. Finish those two exams Thursday. Finish finish the last one at 9.30 p.m. in the night. So the first one is from 11.30 to 2.30 to, to, to and then the other one is from 6.30 to 9.30. When I finish 9.30 I come back home. I start studying from 10 to 12 in the night and then I do my exam 8 a.m. in the morning and I finish that now. When as soon as I come back the entire day I'm gonna finish up some accounting work. Saturday, finish up some accounting work the entire day. Sunday, finish up some accounting work the entire day. And then Monday now, 8 a.m. exam, 8 to 11. And then I finish, and voila, you guys are gonna be able to see me again. So guys, I'm gonna be away for some time, but you know I'm good. Just get this over the way, and you know, certainly I'll be seeing you guys on the 18. 18 is a few days away from now, probably like a week. Is it a week? Yeah, something like that. Exactly. Not too bad. So guys, enjoy your time. Enjoy your last day before work, which is tomorrow. You know, hope you guys have a restful weekend. I mean, you can never have a fully rest weekend, right? As you look, it's like Saturday and Sunday is just one day, right? Combined in two halves. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. It's like, hey, you know, here is Saturday. Okay, 12 hours pass, Sunday is here. 12 hours pass, okay, 24 hours, Monday again. So it's like Saturday is half a day, Sunday half a day. And then Monday, Monday is like two days in one. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the exact feeling. But um, 
you know, just gonna work with it. Hopefully they approve, you know, worldwide for us to get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, and then have a four day work week. That would be amazing. Anyways, guys, you run this out. Um, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye-bye.